All right, what we got today is a run capacitor that we have to replace. So I'm up on the roof here. Um, I actually should put my freaking hat and glasses on here. Uh, cool day, but temperatures go up when you're on the roof. So yeah, we got a little carrier here, I'll show it. So when I diagnosed this unit originally, um, I had shut off the power, but for demonstrating purposes and testing this capacitor, I put it back on. It's a little carrier from the three. Uh, so here's, here's what happens, no compressor, no fan. But if you push in the contactor and try and spin the fan, Now, for uh, in any situation, you would want to test this capacitor with a multimeter. I do not have one right now. And no, I'm not starting out yet, or I'm not in the field daily. But that is a 35.5, and that's what we have here. So we're going to swap it out. There's a yellow jack in here. the fan you got blue going to hermetic that's compressor and then you got two yellow wires going to common and on the contactor so Cleaned the coils on these units a few years ago. So, so sometimes the size of your capacitor can change. You need a fat, vice versa. That looks like the same width, just about. So we should be able to reuse that strap. I'm going to uh, do one connection at a time here. Those connections are not tight. You can see when I tug them, so I'm gonna crimp those. And right. the thin yellow wire both go on common across from each other. So. She's toast.
only thing I don't like about it is that it's made in China. So that'll last, you know, three years tops. We're going to disconnect back in. Line coming back and we're good. Indoor fans not running, so gotta do this briefly. Need to redo this armor flex up here, but yeah, it's, it's cool. So yeah, it's gonna do it for that.